These stoves are toughly built, proper multi-fuel stoves with a grate and an ash pan. They're a simple import that's brought in in a few different sizes. This is the smallest one, the Wiltshire. They're all five kilowatts. They have a 10 year warranty, which is great actually. They're made from steel with cast iron doors and the internals of this stove are not dissimilar to some others we've seen. So it's one I'm pretty comfortable with. Okay, let's light it. As always, we start with a small log uh, or two. This is a small stove, so we just start small. Then some smaller pieces of wood building up until we get to the smallest bits at the top. Then we have the obligatory fire lighter. And finally, we strike a match. Once it's lit, just leave the door just ajar and both vents fully pulled down. Up to temperature really quick. As soon as it is, shut the door before the handle gets too hot and close the lower air. Allow the other one to stay open for a bit until it's properly all caught then normally I shut it about halfway. This stove runs at 76% efficiency and obviously it's eco-design ready. The Defra kit, again like some others we've seen, is removable and it's really neat design actually as you can see here. I run it with the Defra kit mostly removed uh, and even so keeping it clean on the glass was no problem at all. I couldn't get it to run overnight and stay clean. I did sort of shut it down and see how long I could run it and the glass stayed pretty clean as you can see here. But um, obviously if you switch to coal, suddenly you can run it overnight. So you can run it overnight on wood, but you'll get a dirty glass. Well, no, you couldn't run it overnight. I couldn't run it overnight with wood, um, but uh, coal use, you, you'd be fine. This stove comes with a tool for the ash pan but no gloves. It will need some gloves because the handle does get hot, but thankfully, I, I know somebody who um, does gloves at a very good price. Um, the, <laughs> the, the control for this type of stove, the controls are absolutely fine. We've got a control for lower air, which is what we'd use if we were burning coal and for lighting the stove generally, obviously with wood, I close that off straight away and then this is with defricate removed we go to fully closed actually it's pretty well behaved with the defricate installed it closes to about here which is a little bit quicker burning obviously if you were burning smokeless fuel then regardless even if you're in a smokeless zone you don't actually have to have the defricate installed so even in city center like london you could remove the defra kit and run it completely closed and that would enable you to keep smokeless fuel in for much longer periods. Um, as I say, with smokeless fuel, as the name suggests, it's the fuel that is smokeless. So the defra approval for a smokeless stove is not required. Oh, and I forgot to say actually that when, even when we've got plenty of fuel in here, we open the door I've got no issue with smoke spillage either. Um, I mean, you know, absolutely nothing going on. So, um, yeah, works really well from that point of view as well. We test fuel economy by getting the stove up to operating temperature and then burning a single net of logs on it to see how long we can maintain the operating temperature. Um, now, you've got to bear in mind, this is the little version. Uh, and obviously it's a multi-fuel stove or a coal burning stove and we were testing it just on logs. Um, but it ran for about 11 hours, so it performed really well, but in part it was assisted by its smaller size, um, but still, you know, pretty good score. These stoves are really tough. They're very, very heavy built, um, but they are multi-fuel, and that tends to mean that they are gonna be a little bit greedier with wood, but obviously very good with coal. I think it suits somebody who's looking for a stove for the evenings and the weekends. If you do want to use it more seriously, you can with smokeless fuel and, uh, and get it even to run overnight. But most people, I think, are going to be burning wood 
for the evening. And for that, it's an affordable, really nice bit of kit. I enjoyed using it. Yeah. It's good. Yeah, I like it's easy the... Easy to use, easy to like. And it's nice and clean. <laughs> <laughs>